inside the SUV, there were two women who had been shot. They say the driver was sadly pronounced dead here on the scene. The passenger was taken to the hospital and is expected to recover. Now, they say they also found a third person who had been shot nearby a man. He was also taken to the hospital. But so far this morning, they don't have a suspect description or any really any idea of why this happened. We don't have any information about motive at this time. It could be road rage, could have been a robbery. Uh, we just don't know. And we don't have enough information at this time to make a determination. Now, police say they do have several witnesses that are speaking with homicide this morning. They're hoping that they can get some information from these folks that can lead them in the right direction of figuring out exactly what happened here. Now, so far this morning, we don't have any uh, more description of those victims. We just know uh, those two women and one man. We don't know how old they are just yet, but of course, we'll continue to bring the latest information. Yo, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it ain't. Y'all probably not too familiar with her. I just got hip to her. Cause I follow Lil Uzi Vert. I seen he shared that song in the lunchroom last week, and I low key followed her just to keep my eyes on her. Cause I didn't know if she was gonna be the next to blow. And unfortunately, she lost her life last night in Houston, Texas. She's a Memphis artist named Lotto Cash Desto. Lotto Cash Desto. She was signed Lil Uzi Vert. Right now, it's unconfirmed if it was a robbery gone wrong or a road rage incident. But she was driving around in Houston. As you see, she keep a lot of money. And let's go back to the PNB Rock thing. A lot of people watch people on Instagrams. Like, all I know of her is to have a lot of money. Well, that's how I got hip to her when I went to her Instagram. I'm like, she got hella bread. So if somebody wanted to get on that with her, that's all they got to do is go to the Instagram, see where she at. Hopefully... They ain't track her down. Hopefully, it's not a backdoor situation. But she was shot and killed last night riding around in Houston. She was close with No Cap, Lil Uzi Vert. Um, she was on her way up. The song with Lunchroom, I'm not going to cap. I never listened to a lot of her music besides the Lunchroom song because it had Uzi on it. And she, it was okay. Uzi snapped. You could tell she trying to find her place. But honestly, with her, you could tell she's the person who got a lot of money. Like when big rappers come to town, they need the plug on drink or something like that. I just honestly feel like that was her who was able to connect people with other other people of importance. And it's sad that they lost their life. You know, 051 Remy, the founder of Young Money, he was shot and killed the other day. I was out playing golf and I got the notification. I'm just like, damn, is this shit ridiculous? It just won't stop. It don't matter if you're in Chicago no more. It used to always be about the rappers in Chicago never gonna make it. Honestly, a couple years ago, that was the headlines from all the bloggers. Like when Duck, Vaughn, and just all the other small time drill rappers, they said, man, Chicago rappers gonna go and stink. Now it seems like it's becoming a worldwide issue. And it don't matter who you is, it don't matter your status in life. It just as long as you have something that another person who's hungry, if they want it, it's unfortunate, but they're gonna try to take it. And I've been in those type of situations on both ends, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people watching have. So you try to have a little not even compassion, but understanding where the robbers come from, but all this senseless killing, it's just making it it's just making it difficult for People who just really want to eat in the streets, you know, it's unfortunate I got to say it like this. It's people like her who just don't have no other way to eat besides street activities. And they're not trying to kill nobody, but you got goofies like her who just want a name so they can run around and say, that's my work, instead of trying to actually eat. Nowadays, people killing people in these robberies and they're not even getting shit. It's ridiculous. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.